So once you switch from pop-up fronts to Sylvia front end like I have, uh, you'll notice that this button here, there's really no use for it. So what I've seen a couple guys do and uh, what I would like to do is uh, actually use that button to enable fog lights on the, uh, the brick headlights that I have. So we're gonna try and do that. And I have no experience with electrical stuff, so if you see this video, it means it worked. If you don't, well then that means it didn't work. But uh, just some backstory, all Sylvia headlights, there's dual projectors, triple projectors, and brick headlights. Brick headlights. Um, all three of them have fog lights and they're H3C bulbs. They're the most inner on every single one of them. It doesn't matter which form or variation of the headlights that you have. If they're Sylvia headlights, they have the fog light. So you'll be able to do this with any of those. And um, wiring looks pretty simple from the write up that I saw like five minutes ago. So the stuff you're gonna need are some old pop-up motors right here. Uh, you might wanna get just some ones that are blown or that don't really work, cause all we really need are these pigtails here at the end that we're gonna cut off. I got some extra wire so I could extend these a little bit longer so that um, there's just a little bit more slack and so it's not too short, cause you never know. And then I cut a hole here in the little seal, or I'll show you. So this is the innermost part of the brick headlight. I cut a little hole where that gold part of the Sharpie is because we're gonna connect one of the female spade connectors to here in order to get it to run the headlight uh, with this here that the old pop-up motors were for. So the connectors you're gonna need are female spade connectors. I got four of them because four wires and then these two four crimps for extending this. And you're just gonna need one of these. And that's pretty much all the tools you'll need, I guess, besides a heat gun if you want to heat shrink these after you've uh, crimped them. All right, so once you cut the connectors or the pigtails off of the headlight motors, the only two wires, according to the write-up that I've just read, are these this brown and this black wire. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these. Uh, I guess the smartest thing to do would really be pull them out, but I'm cutting them to keep moisture from getting into the connector, just so like there's something there, still there. So anyways, you're gonna cut these off and then once you do that, we will attach, I'll attach these to extend these a little bit longer and then we'll keep going from there. So after you cut the wires and crimp them, I've extended them this long just for a little extra slack and I got the female spade connectors on the end. We're gonna go plug them in and see what happens. Also, if you wanna make the head or the fog lights independent of the running beams, you have to disconnect this relay uh, right here. So I'm gonna do that. So after you open it, you'll find this gray one here. Uh, you just gotta shove a screwdriver or something small under there. I ended up breaking the clip, but it's off and I don't need it, so there's that. Hi. Okay, so I had to run to the store real quick and buy these H3 bulbs because okay, the bulb that was here uh, was like just, I think, I don't know, H10. It's brighter than my low beam and high beam actually. But, so I got some fog lights to put in there. And I just realized now, after buying that, that this plug is gonna be pretty obsolete because the H3 bulbs are, that I'm using are gonna be plugged in with one of these and another one of these. So I don't know what I'll do with this. Maybe just leave it hanging or something. But I'm gonna plug it in and see what happens. All right, I still have to do the other side, but I mentioned earlier that I had to switch out the bulbs because I didn't have H3 ones. So the H3 ones comes with, come with a little male uh, connector, spade connector, that I've connected to the brown wire. You want to connect the brown wire of the pop-up motor to the spade connector and the black wire to the housing. There's a little um, connector there also. And then I've just cut the holes and slid this through the old hole where the two-prong part of the bulb. I don't know if you can see, boom, boom. I just snuck it through there and then cut a hole here so it could still be sealed and be all good. So I'm gonna do the other side and then we'll show you the finished product. So I finished it up and Edvin's gonna show you the, or how they work. So go ahead and turn on the regular headlights. So that's the regular one. These things all run off of each other and then uh, turn it one click down. So the low beams are off and then he can press the fog lights, go ahead. Wow, that's really bright. But yeah, so they're independent of the running lights. So go ahead and turn the lights on, all of them. 
And so there you go. You just ruined the video. <laughs>